Don't go chasing rice waterfalls. Please listen to the juices and the berries you're used to. Because this ain't it, sheep. My hair is dry. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? As you can see from the title, honey, today we will be reviewing what are you talking about? It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just me. It's just me. Today, I will be reviewing the new Miel. Is it Miel or Miel? I don't know. But we, Or is this glass? Oh, this is fancy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You better come through packaging. Um, This is the new Miel or Miel rice water collection. I picked up two out of the four products in the line. I have the moisturizing milk as well as the clay mask. Y'all, all these little these little brands are jumping on rice water. Y'all know I loves me some rice water. I got multiple videos on rice water. Definitely check them out in the cards. I have an entire rice water playlist. No stranger to rice water. Um, so yeah, all these brands and stuff are jumping on the bandwagon. And I don't have a problem with that. I personally love DIYs, but ain't everybody love no DIY. So for those of you who want to dibble and dabble in rice water, but you don't really want to DIY, that's why we have... You know, we have brands that cater to us and whatnot. Um, so like I said, there are four um, products in the line. Mia likes doing these little half lines. There's no shampoo, there's no conditioner, and there's no real styler in this line, which is kind of, you know, but it is what it is. Um, this, this what is this thing called? These little cards, this little card is nice. Like it has glitter on it, it has texture. When I say this is a beautiful collection in terms of the presentation, gotta give it to me out on the presentation. But yeah, I didn't get the shine mist, which is basically a lightweight mist that not only adds shine, but also hydrates and blah, 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 blah. That thing was full of silicones. There were like two silicones in the top five ingredients. And I don't need a shine mist. <laughs> I don't. Um, so I didn't get it and I feel like I don't want fake shine, so I didn't get that. There's also a split end therapy, which sounded good. It sounded more like a pre-poo, but I also didn't get that because I don't believe in the gimmicks that you can fix split ends. If your hair is split, cut it. Let's get into it, right? Let's get into it. I mean, why not? So I did start off my wash day with a pre-poo, which I won't be talking about because it was Basura, but I did go in with a product after that that I really like, which is the Miel Shampoo. I talked about this in my previous video. Loves it, loves it, loves it. So, we're gonna, we gonna start, we're gonna start or whatever. This shampoo is great. Like, it, it cleanses your hair really well, but it doesn't leave it feeling stripped. Love that about it. Love to see it. Um... So I've been air drying my hair for 20 minutes. So now it's time to go in with the rice water clay mask. And this packaging is so nice. It's really so nice. Um, let's see what it looks and smells like. Um, it has a light scent. It smells a little bit like their Hawaiian ginger collection. Similar, very light. This is what it looks like. It looks like... Mm, it looks like a mask. It it looks like a clay in the sense, I don't know. It's like a hybrid between a clay and a conditioning treatment. So honestly, most of the ingredients in this product are conditioning products. So let's see the texture. So that's what we looking like, kind of bright. Very thick. It's very thick. The first five ingredients are 
water, Satyr Alcohol, BTMS, which is an emulsifier, aloe vera juice, and then sweet almond oil. Like even applying it to my hair, it feels like straight conditioner and oil. It doesn't feel detoxifying or anything, even though it claims, at least on the website, to be a detoxifier. What it says is dual purpose mask is the perfect detoxifier for hair and body, so you can use it on your skin and your hair, designed to detoxify by removing impurities while depositing moisture back into the hair blah 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 um but i am kind of confused because the the clays are literally to the bottom of the ingredient list they are kaolin clay kaolin clay and iliad clay which is probably just french green clay um they're literally by the fragrance and the preservative like literally to the bottom of the ingredient list yeah i don't know if this product is a cleanser clay situation or it's a deep conditioner i don't know because the um the directions on the packaging says to Apply a generous amount of product to damp hair from root to tip. Leave on for 15 to 30 minutes covered with a plastic cap and rinse. May be used every two weeks, body and then the body. We don't gotta talk about that because we know that's a hair channel. Um, so it's basically, the direction is basically to apply it like you would a deep conditioner, right? Right? Basic English. Basic English. Now, if we go on the website, no tea, no shade, but we just trying to, we just trying to, trying to be here. On the website, it says, after shampooing, which is the instructions that I use, after shampooing, apply a generous amount of product to damp hair, damp hair, from root to tip. Leave on for 15 to 30 minutes, covered with a plastic cap, and rinse. Follow up with a deep conditioner. So, we don't know, but we're going to find out. We, we don't know, but we're going to find out today, together. I am not sure. I mean, I'm hoping it's a deep conditioner because I want wash day to be over, but I'm also not sure, Saints. I'm just not sure. So I'm done applying the mask. Um, you saw me have to go in with my hibiscus and aloe tea because it just really wasn't applying well. It felt very stiff on the hair. Um, it doesn't have much of any slip. Um, I felt a lot better about it once I applied my tea. I felt it softening up and I feel better about it. But without my tea, it was definitely not going to be a favorite. Even with my tea, the verdict is still out. I'm going to sit under um, my hot head for about 20 minutes and then I will rinse it out. I'm still not sure whether I need to follow up with a DC or not. The verdict is still out on that. We will see, but right now I'm feeling kind of meh about it. I did want to say really quickly that these products were on sale on Miel's website for $5 each. They are regularly $9.99, so they are more on the affordable side. Um, and I also wanted to say that even though these products do have rice water, rice water is not high up on the ingredient list. Usually a product that has a high concentration of an ingredient will have it in its top five. For the mask, it's in its number eight, number 10, excuse me, on the ingredient list. So halfway down the ingredient list, you can find rice brand water. Well maybe like a third down you can find rice brand water and for the milk it is the 13th ingredient and it's way down on the ingredient list for them it's halfway down the ingredient list for the milk so rice water is not a high concentration so some people may say that's a gimmick i mean do with that information as you will so let me just Go under my hot head and then I'll be back. So this is what my hair looks like. It actually looks pretty nice and moisturized. The clay won't that bad. Um, 
is it a product that I would go out and repurchase? I wouldn't. But now that I have it and I still have like half a use left, I'll use it up. My hair has felt better, but it show has felt worse as well. So, and for five dollars, you really can't beat it. All right, so we starting off pretty good. I am now gonna go in with the moisturizing milk. It says it's us excellent. Excellent for length retention because it does tout to have rice water, but like I've said, rice bran water. I don't really know what rice bran water is. Like, I know what fermented rice water is, so who knows what type of rice water is actually in this product, but it's like way down the list. It's the 13th ingredient. According to this, it says that it's a daily moisturizer and it's perfect for bringing life back to dry, thirsty hair. Um, infuse or blah 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 apply a dime size amount from root to tip on wet or dry hair maybe used for styling and hydration so I'm going to use it for hydration I don't know um, Miel's products to have that much moisture so well they're leave-ins I've never been really wowed by Miel's leave-ins I don't think they're that moisturizing like the pomegranate and honey or the Hawaiian ginger, but who knows? We gonna have an open mind. These products actually smell like cheap Dollar Tree lotion. Yeah, it kind of smells, it's giving me a pink lotion vibe, kind of. It smells like a cheap hair lotion or a cheap body lotion. Um, so, oh, it's thick. This is thick for Miel, and the same thing for the mask. The mask was very thick. Usually their products are very thin and lightweight, but these products are a lot thicker than they usually tend to be. Okay. I'm gonna apply a bit more. I kind of feel like I'm applying body lotion on my hair. I don't know. Maybe I don't know y'all. So I'm applying that much. It doesn't feel like I'm applying anything, but we just gonna keep fighting on, man. We just gonna keep fighting on. I'm going to go in because I'm not crazy. I'm not gonna use it by itself. Even though you technically can use hair milks by themselves sometimes. I have kinky hair and I'm going to be realistic, so I'm going to go in with a lot of body with milk, honey, refined me, curl defining mousse. Y'all know I like the original lot of body um, mousse for natural hair, but I'm out of lot of bay. I have plenty of videos on that, so I'm just going to use this newish version. It came out like a year ago, but this is my first time trying it. Let's talk about this moisturizing milk for a second. The first five ingredients are water, coconut oil, sorbitol, isopropyl, mistrate, and satirial alcohol. This is the first Miel leave-in where I feel like it has a very high oil content. It's very thick, and I find it at least on initial application to be very moisturizing I'm not sure how that's going to change as I apply you know the product and it dries and whatnot or how long the moisture will last but right now I'm actually surprised I know I seem kind of iffy at first but after the product seeped into my hair I felt a lot better about it I also wanted to say that this product actually does contain a silicone it contains cyclopentasolacin um, 
I personally did not realize it had a comb when I bought it because I would not have bought it. It's, it is the seventh ingredient. Y'all know I'm modified CG. I will dibble and dabble in some grease, but I don't really bang, bang with silicone. That may be a little backwards, but that's just me. Um, so this product does have silicones, but it feels good on my hair so far. It also has xanthan gum towards the end of the ingredient list. So I did find that it actually defined my hair. I couldn't use it alone for a twist out or braid or anything obviously I ain't doing a wash and go but I did find that it did pack some definition as well so we gonna see we gonna see what it do All right, y'all, these are the finished results. I sat under the dryer for an hour last night, and then this morning I woke up and sat under the dryer for another 30 minutes. My hair was fully dry. Um, and this review really took a turn. Um, last night I felt like my hair felt nice and hydrated, but remember when I told you it smelled like body lotion? Well, my hair feels like I put body lotion on it, even though it's kind of shaking a little bit. I pinned it to the side because when it was completely down, you could really see how dry and stiff it was. Um, I put it up so it kind of made it look like I did a little something, let it shake, but I don't like this leave-in. Um, besides my hair feeling dry and rough, to the touch, you know that rough and tough feeling? Um, besides my hair feeling rough and tough, you gotta put an accent on it, you know? Rough and tough, um, it's dry. It's it's dry um, and it's flaking. Um, because I think of the xanthan gum in this product, there was like solid, I think they probably like knocked out of my hair. I'm not really seeing them as much but you can kind of see them especially in like this area i'm not sure if it's picking up on camera there's flaking from the xanthan gum and like it's gummy in certain places where i apply too much we all know i'm heavy-handed i will own that but there's products that i know i love where i can use as much as i want i'm just not going to get flakes so i a leave-in with with xanthan gum just really can go south um the best product I used today was honestly the Lotta Body Mousse. I think my hair has a lot of shine and body and pretty good definition. Because my hair is dry, it's not locking in the definition. Like, you're not going to get good definition on dry hair. At least for me. I don't get good definition on dry hair. If my hair was moisturized, it would have looked a lot smoother and silkier. So definitely going to use this mousse again. But the leave-in, I'm going to give it away to a friend. Honestly, I told her to come for it tomorrow. Um, I will hold on. I will hold on to the mask because I love... I love the packaging of the mask. I thought it was a pretty okay mask. Is it the best mask I've ever used? No. Would I be okay with giving it away? I would, but I want the packaging, and I just don't trust that hole to return my to return my packaging. So I'm gonna keep it and use it up. I mean, I only have so, so little left, but I would say overall, um, this line was a miss. Um, obviously I've only tried half the line, but just based on the reviews that I finally watched now that I 
you know have my own thoughts I I wouldn't recommend this line if you want to dibble and dabble in rice water I suggest you watch some of my videos watch some other videos and make your own or there's a bunch of other companies that sell rice water products as well and you can look them up I'm not gonna name drop them here but just use your Googles um, I would say this is a pass Obviously, I'm all for supporting black women. It's really a, an expensive line. It's ten dollars. It was five dollars on sale right now. It's, it is sold out, so you're not even able to get it right now. But even if you could, I wouldn't. But everyone's hair is different. Maybe it will work for you. But for me, um, the mask was just okay. But the leave-in, my hair is like this. Is literally the next day and my hair is dry and that's just kind of the theme with Mayel. I never really get long lasting hydration from it. Um, and the silicones don't help because the silicone gives you fake full moisture. But that is my thoughts. I That's what you gotta watch a review towards the end, to the end because my opinions have changed. So I'm probably gonna wash my hair midweek um, and do a deep condition because my hair is <coughs> dry. So that's it. This video has been long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Wait. Peace.